my friends and welcome to Koala Knits and Knacks. This is Shelly and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make these cute socks. See they are they are um, ankle socks that I made on my Addy 22 needle machine and you know I was thinking uh, last night when I was laying in bed trying to sleep um, about sock making. I know that we can make slipper socks but I thought I wonder if my one um, number one weight um, yarn would work. Like this one is Lion Brand Summer Nights. And I used this with, I, I did double strand and I used this one, which is Loops and Threads. Um, and what's the colorway? This colorway is called Denim Blue. The other one was called, let me just tell you what it's called really quickly. It's called Stargazing. So Denim Blue and Stargazing mixed together. And that's what I got here. And I cannot believe how beautifully this goes through our machines. So you're gonna wanna grab some sock yarn. Um, like I had a, a sock loom that I used and, um, and I thought, well, I got all this yarn. What am I gonna do with it? And you know what, here's my Birkenstock. So they fit in your shoes. Um, you know, I don't know if you're a socks and a sandals kind of person. I'm not usually, but I know that you always see young people wearing socks in their Birkenstocks. So I thought these look so pretty. So um, with jeans, you just throw them on and away you go. And you have a nice pair of cool socks on. And they also, well, I'm gonna change them out right now. So um, I also used a mushroom color one like this. For this next pair, I used the mushroom color and the denim blue. And I'm going to just put those on for you. Okay, there's one. <laughs> and here's number two. And I just cannot believe how they work in the machine, how it works in the machine. I just, I'm going to be addicted to making these. I can tell you that right now. Um, I'm going to, uh, because I love the weight of them. I love that, uh, that you can wear them in your shoes. And they are a sock shoe. I mean, yeah, a shoe sock. Sock shoe. They're a shoe sock, not a slipper, okay? So let me take those off and I'm going to grab my runners and I'm gonna just show you that they fit in your running shoes. Just like that, so easily. You know, they're thinner than a lot of the of the sports socks that you buy. And that just looks so cool, so nice with jeans. I love it, okay? So you can pull that up a little bit um, and you've got your your cuffed sock made on your Addy 22. Okay, so if you're um, excited about this, then you go ahead and grab your your sock yarn. Your It's a number one weight fine yarn and get your Addy 22 ready. You're gonna need a little bit of waste yarn and let's make these beautiful socks. Like I seriously, I'm gonna be, I never look for, for sock yarn in Michaels anymore or in any of the stores and that's exactly what my eyes are gonna be peeled for now because you can just mix whatever colors or make them a, a, you know, a denim pair would be beautiful with jeans too. So anyways, have fun and happy knitting. Okay, so I'm excited to start this project. Um, we're going to um, grab our waist yarn and I'm using a, a thinner, I'm not using a four weight yarn, I'm using a three weight um, yarn for my waist yarn. Um, just matches my working yarn a little bit better. And I'm going to bring my last white, my first black needle in line with my yarn feeder here. I'm gonna put the tail of my waist yarn inside the machine, go behind that first black needle, in front of the next, behind and in front, all the way around doing a long tail cast on. Okay, when we get to the last white needle, we shall be in front of it, just like so. Open your yarn feeder, put your yarn in, and then you're gonna crank out as many rows of yarn that you, oops, the first, because this is a three weight yarn, sometimes the first row is a little sticky. Um, we're going to, Knit out as many rows of waist yarn as you're comfortable with. I generally do seven or eight. Okay. One more. And I see that black marked divider that I, I do with a felt pen. And I'm gonna bring that around with a permanent marker. And I'm going to cut my waist yarn off. I'm going to open the latch. I'm gonna put it in between the last white and the first black needle. And then I'm gonna grab my working yarn, okay? which I am using double strands of. So I'm going to bring that up here. I'm going to see it's double stranded here. I'm gonna put it into my yarn feeder, close the latch, put that between my last white and my first black. Don't forget to set your yarn um, row counter. <laughs> sometimes I do, sometimes I don't, <laughs> okay? And we are going to, um, you know, set a row counter to zero. Then I'm going to hold that end and I'm gonna knit 
three or four stitches. And then I'm gonna take both ends of my working yarn. You see, this is what I'm always looking at, this divider right here. I want that to be tightened as it goes down. So you pull on both ends. This one, you have to help it under, but then you just give it a little, a little pull, okay? And then I'm gonna take my um, working ends and just give a little loose little tie with my um, waste yarn end that's in there just to keep it down, okay? And so now that my row counter is set to zero, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to knit. Now I am holding this yarn actually between my finger and my thumb just like that. And I'm putting um, a medium tension on it as I go around. And I'm going to knit 22 rows for my cuff because we're going to bring the end of, uh, we're going to bring the first row up to meet the 22nd row. And uh, then we'll have, you know, half the length, half the width for our cuff. So go ahead, keep knitting till you get to row 22, finish row 22, and then see me back. All right, so I finished my 22 rows. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring up the end, okay? Just like what I've got it in my fingers right here, okay? When you take your working yarn and you pull on it just a little bit, you can see that it's coming out of this stitch, okay? So if I was to pull up on that stitch, it would loosen my work. You can see easily that that's where this is coming around here and then going under here. You're going to take that, that loop, put your loom hook over it. You're going to put it over your black needle okay leave your working yarn um that's in your yarn feeder leave it in there and let it continue doing its job like it normally does um, but then you're going to rotate your handle but the only thing you want to make sure you do is you want to make sure that that this second double strand of yarn your working yarn that's coming out of this feeder gets picked up by this this nook of this needle okay make sure that that happens then we're going to go over to the next one the top row there you can see that in our waist yarn. We're going to slip that underneath the little nook of that needle. And then we're going to rotate our handle. And you'll see that this needle picked up that one. And this one's getting ready too. We're going to go over and take up that next loop. All these little loops are our rows, okay? We're going to pick up the next one. Gently put it over your needle. Then you're going to watch to make sure that these two strands get under there. Because we've double stranded it, we've got four strands under there now. But um, it works just like beautifully, okay? This one's getting ready to pick it up. I'm going to move over to this next loop. I'm going to put it underneath the nook of that needle. And I'm going to continue on in like manner. Okay. Now, what I suggest for this is don't hurry through it. Just take your time. Like I could go a lot faster, but I really do go this slow the whole way through. Why? <laughs> because I want my tension to be even all around the rim there. And I just want a beautiful finish. Um... And so I just feel it's only 22 stitches. I don't have to do it fast. I'm going to just go slow, take my time, enjoy the process, take a bite of my cookie. Actually, I can't because I finished it already. Hope I got rid of all the crumbs. <laughs> Anyways, and we're just going to continue going around. I did. I made um, peanut butter uh, cookies. And I had a cup of coffee and a cookie this morning. It's early morning, actually. How many of you like to have cookies early in the morning? <laughs> <laughs> to me, any time is a good time for a cookie. But anyways, let's keep going. <laughs> okay, and so we're going to keep going just like that until we get to the end. Some, this one's getting, this one's a little tight, but I'll just loosen my grip there a bit. Then I'll go in between those stitches and then I'll get it, okay? And we're going to grab that one. And you're going to sometimes pull this... Um, the, the working yarn that's coming out of the back of your of your yarn feeder. Some, if you notice it's getting really loose in here, just pull it and give it a little bit of tension, okay, before that needle moves on. So you're going to do that until we get to that last white needle. We're going to finish off that last white needle. Um, and then don't keep going. Don't go past that last white needle. I'll see you when I get there, okay? All right, so I'm coming up on the end here. All worked out very well. Sometimes these little loops were a little bit tight and they were hard to see. Um, so make sure that you're not missing one, okay? So when you get to this end here, um, you should, you have this, you, you'll see this stitch that was the first one that you worked. There's only this one stitch left. If, if it looks like you were shorted a stitch or you didn't have enough stitches, then um, you've done it wrong because it should work out exactly the way you need it to, 22 stitches. So now that I've got that one hooked up, then, um, I see that there's none left and that's good because that first one was on that that hook okay all right so now that we have all of our stitches attached to our needles we're going to reset our counter 
to zero, okay? And from there, um, I'm going to knit 50 rows, okay? I want these to be like an ankle sock, okay? So um, this last two stitches are going to pick up just a little bunny trail here. These last two stitches still need to pick up this yarn before it starts counting there. So um, there we go. Now we're going to continue on. And I want these to be an ankle sock, so I'm going to go slow for this first round. Um, so they're not going to go very high up on my foot. Okay, if you want them to go higher, then you just add more rows here. And if you want your cuff to be higher, then um, or, or wider, then you can you can go ahead and add more rows for that before you bring it up and attach it to the needles as well. Um, it really can just uh, do a few different options here. So, but for this particular pattern, we're doing an ankle sock. So now we're going to just keep going until we have 50 rounds and that's 50 rounds for my size six foot. When I get there, I'm going to show you how you uh, make it higher for yourself. Okay. And, and how you, how I personally judge it. Okay. <laughs> I was a loom knitter before and, and one way that we did um, the loom knitting and to know what, um, how many rows to do is you stuck your foot right in the middle of the 24 peg loom. I'm not even kidding. We're not going to stick our foot in this loom, but we are going to uh, measure it to our foot. So go ahead, um, do the 55, or pardon me, the 50 rows. And when you get there, um, come back and see me. It's fast, I'm already on 20. All right, so I have my 50 rows and I'm going to reach into my machine and I'm going to um, pull that up. I'm gonna actually uh, raise my camera one little second. Okay, so once I pull that up, I'm going to stretch it a little bit because we know that it, we're going to stretch it when we get it off of our machine. And then I'm going to literally take my foot. Now you might be laughing, but this is how I do stuff, okay? <laughs> this is the cuff and this is the length of my foot. A little bit higher than the length of my foot when I stretch it. Um, about five rows because that's going to go over my ankle just a little bit. So literally, that's what you do. So measure it to your foot and then if you want your ankle... Um, if you want to only go part way up your ankle, do five rows like what I'm doing, five extra rows, because normally I would have only needed 45 um, to fit my foot. And then you're going to pop that little guy back down into the center there. You're going to cut off a long tail from both yarns, and we're going to do a long tail cast off, okay? I'm going to open the latch, take out my long tail that I cut off, put it in the center there, and I'm going to thread my needle. And we're going to remove our stitches, okay? So you're going to rotate your barrel. You're going to take off that first stitch. Get this out of the way. Rotate your barrel. Take off the next one. You take off a few until you get some slack. Um, oops. Be careful with this really thin yarn. It likes to snag, okay? Um, till, till we get some, some tension in, or slack tension in here, then we can, we can take off more needles at once, okay? So I usually do four or five, okay? Take this one off. And now I'm going to just rotate it a few, just like that. Okay, and just catch them. Just like so. Okay. Till you get all the way around the barrel. And when you get all the way around, come back and see me. So I'm going to remove my last one. And that takes my project off the machine. And then I'm going to remove that. And I'm going to remove my... Um, machine from the table here and we'll be back together in a second. All right, so we have our little guy off the machine. We're going to um, go ahead and unroll him with the inside actually inside. We've got the wrong side out and then we're going to take off our waist yarn, okay? So we're going to roll up that rim so that the right side of that pro of the waist yarn is facing you. You're going to pinch just Here's here's where my ends are, so I'm just going to go over about five or six stitches, and I'm going to roll that up till I get the very top row. Okay, I'm going to pinch that stitch to the left of it, and then I'm going to pull this out. Okay, roll it up, pinch the stitch, pull out that first row. And you just keep going until you get it all out and removed, okay? Just like so, I'm gonna get this out of the way. 
I shall roll it up later and reuse it. Okay, now the first thing we're gonna do is we're going to take our needle, thread these two loose ends here, but I like to cut them off even before I start threading them. I find it's easier to work with if I have them the same length. Okay, and then I'm gonna thread my little needle And I'm going to just grab a piece of, uh, like one of the strands of yarn there, and I'm going to tie a little knot, okay? I'm not going to pull too tight because I don't want to pucker my sock. Um, I don't want it to look puckered on the other side. So there we go. Pull that tight. This is just a loose stitch that came up, so that's okay. I'm going to actually go over it, and I'm going to just, you just make it how you feel you need to do, but I don't want to put big knots in there because I don't want to feel that on my ankle. Okay, so I'm going to just do one more slip knot just to secure that that one that I saw come. It was actually part of this this strand, so that's okay. It worked out fine. Okay, now I'm going to take this and put it back on because it fell off and I'm going to just hide my ends, okay? So you're going to just go around and pick up some strands and hide your ends. Just like so. You can go up, you can, however you want to do it. But I'm going to come back now. Just pick up some strands, just like that. And I don't want this to start unraveling, so it's very sometimes very hard to work with this really thin yarn. It likes to come off of your, um, your needle, but you know what? It's okay. We shall persevere and get it done. Okay, so I'm going to bring that across, and then I'm going to pull that through, and I'm going to cut this off. And it's perfect. Now we're gonna go down to this other end and I wanna sew this up while it's inside out like this so that so that my seam um, is on the inside, okay? And we're gonna unroll that as we pull tight on this yarn end here, just like that. So I'm gonna cut this off too because I don't need such a long piece to sew this up. I love the looks of this inside actually too. Um, so you can you can actually wear them either way, however you like to to uh, how whichever side you like. But I'm going to have them the other way. But you you know you can make them and wear them with this side being your main side too, um, and that's nice as well. Okay, so here we go. I'm gonna just sew around that to close that toe, just around that top layer of stitches. I go around once and then what I'm going to do is just grab one strand because I don't want a big knot again and I'm going to just tie a knot right there and then do it one more time okay and then from there I'm going to hide my yarn ends just around that same circle that we just tied I'm going to go the other way because it's easier to see the stitches there I'm going to go pick up about four, five, six stitches, then go back the other way. And for the toe, I like to reinforce it uh, three times. So picked up a few more stitches going back that way. Then I'm going to go back one more time. I want to be sure that my toe is going to stay put, I'm not going to come um, loose. Take my needle off, cut that little yarn end. And just like that, we have this beautiful tube sock. Do you remember as kids, if you're my age, I'm in my late 50s, <laughs> um, we uh, we bought tubes. We loved when we got to buy tube socks. Sometimes we had toe socks, but they were also tube socks. But um, that's what this looks like. And it's going to just look beautiful on my foot. I'm just going to put it on and show you how nice this is. Um, just like that. It's an ankle sock. See, can you see that? It's an ankle sock, okay? So um, if you want this to go higher, then instead of doing your five rows here, you're gonna do more, okay? Um, more than five rows and that will bring this up higher. If you wanna make your your um, brim here, your cuff here wider, you can also do that. You can, we did um, 22 rows, but you can do it as, as uh, wide as you want and, and make it like that, okay? Um, but this is the kind of sock that I absolutely love. So I'm gonna go ahead I'm gonna make the exact same pattern again and make one more sock um, to have a pair and awesome. I love it. I just can't believe that this yarn works in this machine. Um, I had this yarn because I'm a loom, I was a loom knitter, like I said, and um, and I uh, 
you know, used it on my sock loom, but I had extras and I thought, ah, I'm going to see if I can get it to work in my, in my machine. And rather than you continue to look at this, um, <laughs> at this placemat, I'm going to go ahead and make the second one and then I'll see you back. <laughs> Okay, there, that's much better. This is the uh, pair of socks that we made, and I just love them. Now, if you turn them inside out, this is what they look like. So you get a very different look. Now, I also went ahead and made another pair, and here they are. That's the denim and the mushroom uh, mixed together. And then uh, when you reverse those, you get this look. So there you have it. I'm just loving it. So thanks again, my friends, for joining me in this tutorial. Please don't forget to hit that like button um, and subscribe if you haven't done so already. And I'd love to have you a part of my Facebook group. So I'll put the link for that down below. So take care, my friends. It was nice spending some time with you. I hope you enjoy this tutorial and that you make yourself a few pair of socks. All right, take care.